Hi, today we're going to show you how vibration massage might help you. Now, as a professional, my job is to work out what patients need, then recommend a therapy that matches. Let's look at an example. This is a list of things that vibrations do. They've all been proven by scientists in their laboratory, so we know that if you use a vibration massager, that's what happens. And just say you work in an office and you come home each night stiff and sore across the top of your shoulders. We know that your muscles are tight, so they'll need relaxing. We also know that tight muscles press on blood vessels restricting blood flow, so you'll need something to increase your blood flow. Now looking at our list of scientific effects, we see that if you apply vibration, it will relax your muscles and increase blood flow. Now we also know that you're probably doing something every day to tighten your muscles, so you'll need something that you can do regularly. So something like vibration massage you can do yourself is a good choice. Now keep in mind that this is general information only. You should get specific advice from a professional familiar with your own needs. That's how we work out whether vibration massage will help you. Now let's look at another common problem. If you've been to a massage therapist, you'll know all about tight spots and tender lumps in your muscles. Now those tender lumps are called trigger points. They're extremely common and are arguably the biggest cause of pain such as back, neck and shoulder pain. So, what are those tender lumps? Now think of parts of those tight muscles getting tighter and tighter and tighter, almost blocking off the blood flow completely. Now with hardly any blood flow, there's a build up of toxic waste, so it gets really nasty, then it goes into spasm or cramps. Now to treat those lumps, you need something to relax the muscles and increase the blood flow, but we need something else, something to disrupt the spasms and cramps, which we have on our list of scientifically proven effects. That means that if you have trigger points or other tight spots or lumps in your muscles, you simply apply the vibrations, the spasm lets go, the muscles relax, and the blood starts flowing through them again. The other thing scientists have found about trigger points is that they are really stubborn, needing a lot of treatments over time. Vibration massage is the only really effective treatment I know that you can easily do yourself making this possible. So that's a couple of examples showing how we work out whether vibration massage can help you. And what I'll do now is show you a couple of useful scientific effects we haven't mentioned yet. Now the first is stretching muscles. Now you probably know about stretching exercises. Well scientists have found that if you apply vibration directly to your muscles it has about the same effect. I've got other videos showing you how to use vibration to increase flexibility. The next is reducing post-exercise soreness and speeding recovery. Now if you play sports or work out seriously you'll be sore the next day. But if you use vibration massage you'll be less sore. Now what they meant by speed recovery was just say you can normally do 10 reps of an exercise. Now the day after a hard workout you'll be fatigued and you might only be able to do 5. But if you use vibration massage you might be able to do 6 or 7 and get back to doing 10 quicker. Now the last scientifically proven effect I'll mention is increasing healing. Now I've got a separate video on this so I'll just show you an example. It shows wound healing with and without vibration. Now if you've got any sort of injury or rehabilitation, this is something you should definitely be checking out and discussing with your professional. Anyway, that's a summary of what vibration massage can do for you. Now we love sharing this stuff and knowing our massages are helping so many people. If you've got any problems or issues, I always recommend you discuss them with a professional familiar with your own needs but it's good to do so in an informed manner and bring up options that they may not have considered. Now if you've got any questions or comments, put them in the comments below or send me an email and I'll do what I can to answer them. Lastly, if you use vibration massage, you'll need a decent massager. A lot are not very effective. Now we've got a video on how to choose a good one or you can just get one of ours. The details are on our website. 
Thank you very much.